guys and welcome back to my channel. Let's get into it. So as you can see, my cat is here. Um, don't mind him or his tail wagging. He wanted in the window, um, which is right here. But anyway, I thought I would talk to you guys about uh, my weekend and what I did and my experience. Um, so over the weekend, I went to Jeju. Yeah, I um, went to Jeju Island for two days and one night. Um, so it wasn't a very long trip. Um, and I just basically went to like relax and whatever. Um, which might not have been the best decision in the world, but I did it anyway. Um, and so what that means is during an outbreak, I went on a plane. Now, the thing that gets me is like, there's some regulations that they have in place, um, and they have regulations in place on public transit as well. So even if I were to travel somewhere else in Korea, like that wouldn't require plane travel, um, I would still have these same requirements. So first requirement, you have to wear a mask on the plane. And I actually have some video footage here that you guys can see. Um, I'll insert it right now, actually. As you can see here, they make you wear a matrix. They make you wear masks. I'm obviously wearing a mask and you can kind of see the people behind me all are wearing masks as well. And this is, again, this is public transportation here in Korea. So any subway you go on, any bus you go on, any like train or anything you go on, you have to wear a mask. You can't not wear a mask. They can kick you off actually, if you're not wearing a mask. And it's the same with the airlines. Um, so the airlines here, domestic flight only. Um, if you're on a domestic flight, you have to wear a mask. And if you're not, they uh, the flight attendants will go to you and tell you that you should put on a mask. Um, and the flight attendants actually are wearing gloves and a mask as well. Um, and I actually saw this firsthand on my trip back. There was an old lady who got on with a mask, but then she sat down and took her mask off and like three or four flight attendants went up to her and were like, ma'am, you have to like put your mask back on. You can't, you need to put your mask back on and basically forced this lady to wear her mask. Um, not forced her, but they told her that she should wear her mask and that she needed to put it back on. Cool, cool. Um, so when you're on the plane, you have to wear your mask. Um, when you leave and when you land, they do temperature checks. Um, so like when you're coming from Gimpo, which is where I left from, um, they do your temperature check when you're going through security. And the same happens when you're going through, um, in, uh, not intro, um, Jeju uh, security as well. You have to go through uh, a temperature check before you even get to go through like the security check or anything like that. So everybody's getting their temperature checked. If your temperature isn't um, like is too high or isn't normal, they actually call in a nurse. So again, this is in Jeju, um, which I'll get to this in a second. That's kind of sketchy, but there was a guy who was in front of us that had his temperature that was like a little too high. And so, um, they had to keep him for a little bit longer than everybody else because they needed to call the, um, what is that? They needed to call a nurse to like do a separate temperature check, um, as it were. So that's interesting. Uh, as for everything else, like my trip, uh, we rented a car, so, um, it wasn't like we were using public transit at all. We were, or a taxi or anything like that. We were, um, in a rental car. So what we did was we would go places and we would wear masks, even outside. Like we went on a peak. Um, we went on a little like mini hike, I guess, uh, as it were. And from that hike, 
like everybody, almost everybody was wearing a mask, um, even like trying to social distance from each other. The only group of people that I saw that weren't wearing masks, um, were a couple old ladies. Um, and then this group of like older people. So I'm not sure what to make of that. Uh, but yeah, and like at the pension and stuff, when we checked in, everybody was wearing masks, um, in the pension room or whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, masks everywhere, people trying to like distance themselves. Um, I did mostly outdoor activities. I didn't really go in anywhere. Uh, so like even dinner, I made barbecue. The only place that I really went into was Emart when I went and bought food. Um, but other than that, like I really didn't do anything, uh, inside. Um, so I guess my travel experience wasn't that bad, but <laughs> the thing that was kind of like, oh fuck, uh, was the fact that <laughs> Jeju just had a huge outbreak of tourists who came to the island and came back to the mainland, um, specifically Gyeonggi-do, and like they have the virus. So like the airport, Gimpo and Incheon, and a few of the places that they had traveled to were closed. Um, and like, not closed, but like due to clean and stuff. And it was like, oh fuck, like this is like why you don't travel during an uh, outbreak because you could potentially uh, contract the virus even though you're taking all the precautions and everything. Like I brought hand sanitizer with me and like I wash my hands all the time and all of this stuff, but you can be over cautious and still get the, the, the um, virus, right? So I guess it wasn't necessarily the smartest thing that I did uh, going on this vacation, um, but yeah, I did it. It was really nice. I did enjoy myself. Um, one of my friends who went with me, their work contacted them after the whole series of like outbreaks and was like, um, so yeah, can you just work for ho from home for like the next five days to see if you get any symptoms or whatever, because you went to Jeju and like, that's a big deal. And so, yeah. It just sucks because like Korea was doing pretty good in regards to the virus and there's just been a couple clusters. So there was an Itaewon and then recently in um, a coupon, which is a delivery service similar to like Amazon or whatever, um, delivery service company building or whatever factory um, had an outbreak An Incheon Church, Incheon's a city, Incheon Church just had an outbreak. Um, the Jeju people had an outbreak. They live in Anyang. So like there's little clusters here and there of like a couple, a couple people, like, you know, 50, I think the Incheon group was 35, I want to say, um, or 30 or something like that. So like, they're not super big groups, but it's enough people that you should worry. And so like the fact that I went to Jeju and there were nine people confirmed with it that got it from Jeju, I'm just kind of like, well, fuck. good thing I self-isolate anyway because I can't go to work and we do everything online so like there's that um but yeah I went traveling here's some videos like I said I gave you guys the video of the plane um and then I'm gonna add tuck on at the end here another video from my trip um of landing in, in Jeju and like what you can see because Jeju is really concerned right now about the virus and like people coming and bringing it or getting it from Jeju and stuff. Um, so here's a little video, um, but I'm going to say goodbye. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.